Hey to the masses! Okay, well, today I am going to be actually showing you all my um, hot oil. You can either do a hot oil treatment or just an oil treatment. I'm going to be just doing an oil treatment on my hair. As we can all see, um, it has been like this for a couple of days now. And as you all know, I have vowed now that I am out of my MBA program, and I actually graduated from that December 1st, but hey, I've been taking a break from doing every single thing else. So I am going to um, go ahead on and do my oil treatment for all of those who um, are wondering what other types of things that I am doing for my natural hair. Um, I'm going to show you all how to actually get what oils to use as well as how to do yourself an oil treatment. So this is usually I do this overnight. This is not going to be an overnight treatment tonight because um, I'm going to actually wash this out because I'm going to actually do a detox after that. Um, so let's get started. So the first, the first oil that I want to tell you all about is avocado oil. Um, I actually purchased this at Whole Foods. Um, avocado oil is what my first oil. So what I'm going to do. is I have my lovely little applicator here. Okay, you can get this right here. You can get that from Sally's. You can get it from, um, if you have a Kim's there, Kim's Boutique, Sally's, any type of hair store, they definitely have an applicator bottle, applicator bottle um, for you to be able to applicate, for you to be able to actually put that in your hair. So what I'm going to do is I am literally going to put about four or five drops of this right here and there. One, two, three, four. All right. Moving on to my next oil, which is going to be almond oil. So what I am definitely on a journey to do is to keep my hair um, and my hair oiled and moisturized at all times. And I'm just making sure I'm taking good care of my hair. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add quite a bit of this to it. Two, three. All right, so I'm actually, Pax, sit, Pax, sit down. Sorry, y'all, he's in here um, while everybody else is gone. The next one is a hobo oil. I, I also purchased I also purchased that almond oil, that 100% sweet um, almond oil, as well as this jojoba oil. I also purchased both of these as well from Whole Foods as well. And as far as my jojoba oil, I'm going to do quite a few drops. That's it on, on that bottle. And for my next bottle, I'm going to do probably about 10 drops. Okay, if I can open it up. Anyway, moving right along, we will probably have to do this one last. Now there it is. All right, we open this one right here up. The hobo oil, part of my sister, is very is a very 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 essential oil for your hair. So I'm gonna do about ten drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was about fifteen because it started dripping before I could count it. As far as my 100% argan oil, and I actually purchased this. You all, this bottle should look familiar if you go to Target. So I'm going to do about 10 drops of that, 10 squirts. Hold on, if it will act right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. All right, and then you have rose hip oil. I actually got the um this rose hip oil also from Whole Foods. What it what it does is it's actually a drop applicator, so it will actually do actual drops for you. So as you hold it upside down and you hit it on things, then the drops will actually come out. So I'm gonna do probably about 15 of those. And you see it because see it's orange. So 
So all these oils restore shine. Um, they ensure you have shine. They also ensure they also ensure they um, help with growth as well as strengthening the hair. So you, my next is going to be nettle leaf oil. You can get this from Whole Foods. I'm going to do 10 drops. It actually has the applicator as such. Alright, it helps restore shine. It helps repair any damage you may have. It helps with growth um, as well once it penetrates the hair shaft. My next one is horsetail extract. The other one was nettle extract. Alright, I also purchased this one at Whole Foods. So as you can tell, I spent about $200 at Whole Foods on my hair products. It also has this cap applicator as well. I did about 12 drops of that. Moving right along. One of my other biggest oils used to be, well, at this time would be coconut oil. But you all are aware that I just gave myself a huge coconut oil bath. Uh, my hair just had a huge coconut oil bath. So my next one that I'm going to add is the castor oil. Okay, castor oil um, actually strengthens the hair, but I would not use it as an everyday staple because it is uh, not, um, it's, it's thick and some people use castor oil. I just don't use castor oil on my hair every day as an everyday staple um, because I, I use coconut oil, which is the most important one, which is the only one that can actually penetrate the hair shaft um, on its own. So I use a lot of coconut oil as well as a hobo oil. So I'm going to make my base this almond oil right here because my, my hair has been coconut oiled up. It does not need any more. So I just added a lot more of this 100% almond oil and I'm making it my base oil actually for my hair. Alright, so what we're going to do is I got my little applicator out of there. So all of my oils are in here. So what you can do is if you like hot oil treatments or if you would rather a hot oil treatment, you basically would then um, either boil some water. You can boil water and then you can actually um, then do it after it has boiled. Um, after you put this in the, in the boiled water and it will heat up this oil or you don't have to have a hot oil treatment. You, also, you can also put these in the microwave. Just not for long, um, you, at your own discretion, but I do not um, do that to mine. I do not, um, I sometimes do it um, a hot oil treatment. I sometimes do it hot, but most of the time I do not. So I just put my hair into four different sections, of course. That's how I do my hair. So I'm just going to put it into four different sections. Doesn't matter, no, um, how you section it off. Nope, I just want to make sure all of my hair is going to get this lovely little oil treatment here and we're going to see masses all the stuff that I am doing now that I have what you call time on my hands all this stuff that I am doing we're going to see how it is actually going to benefit I'm going to let you all see how it actually benefits the growth of your hair as well as the health of your hair as well okay Alright, you would of course have your clips on hand and ready to oil your hair. Now mind you, just as a, as a quick reminder now, do not have on your best stuff because this oil is about to get everywhere. So what you're going to do is basically oil your hair. What you are basically going to do is you're going to oil your hair, okay? And then you are going to, using the praying hands method, you are going to oil your hair and then you're going to twist it up. So you are literally going to spray it. Spray it. You are literally going to put it on your hair using the praying hands method. So make sure every strand 
is getting all of these nutrients and everything. That is your goal, is to make sure your strands are getting these nutrients, especially the most loyal parts of your hair. All of my, all of my masses, you already know what parts that is. That is your, your ends here. They are the most important. So I give mine just a little bit more, or just a couple more squirts, just to make sure that they are well taken care of. So I'm using the plant praying hands method. Make sure you flatten that hair so each piece of your hair is actually getting the nutrients that it needs as well as the oil and this oil treatment that it's about to get. So I am going to keep this on my head probably roughly 30 to 45 minutes. Um, and I am going to um, get up and do something so that my hair uh, sweats and these will actually be able to penetrate into my hair shaft. You see, it's just a regular oh, it's just a regular twist. So I'm moving on to the next part. This takes no time. How often do I do this? I'm probably going to be doing this probably once a week, to be honest with you. Um, my coconut oil bath is not is probably going to be happening probably once, probably mm, I probably do that about once a month or something like that because I use coconut oil so on the weeks that I don't you really use coconut oil that often then I'll do a coconut oil bath but other than that you don't want to do too much of anything you know too much of anything is not good including water we're going to do this again hopefully I'm getting this on my you all see me applying it with my applicator and then you're going to use the praying hands method and yes, this is yet another product. Everything that you do with your hair is going to get all over your bathroom. Yes, ladies, it is. Make sure that hair, make sure all of those strands are getting this, these lovely nutrients. Make sure every one of them are, all right? Most loyal pieces, don't forget, don't forget to do that at the end. Okay? If you all hear a sound, a licking sound and all that, that is uh, my pooch. He's down there uh, licking up oil driblets or whatever you, whatever you want to call it. He's up there licking up oil driblets. Uh, I think he's eating a feast. I don't really know what he's doing. Sit packs. Sit down. I always give it a little shake to make sure we're mixed up correctly before I add it to my next piece. And there we are. See how well this applicator works? It works well. It distributes great. Um, and make sure all of your pieces are getting oiled. Are getting oiled up and getting what it needs. Make sure you're doing the praying hands method. I just rub it in first because this oil, it is exactly that. It is oil. Most oil pieces, it will get everywhere. So, sit. Please excuse me, y'all. I have my dog in here with me. We have three on this side. All right, that's good. Now it's on to the next. Uh oh. All right. Each strand is important. Don't forget that. to 
hopefully you all are able to see these pieces. Hopefully you all were able to see that. Um, make sure we're using the praying hands method. That is our goal here. Twisting it up. Yep. The full treatment. It's so funny because when we go to when we go to Whole Foods, it's so funny because when we go to Whole Foods, um, Bryant almost has a connection. When he sees the price, and I'm like, uh, you have a natural life. I don't, I do not get my hair done. I am a natural hair, I'm a natural lista. I don't get my nails done. I actually do, these are my actual natural nails. Uh, so if we were to really add this stuff up, how much I would be spending, okay? We could spend a hundred dollars about every two to three months on um on natural hair products for the girls and I with no problem because I could be spending that times three if I actually wore sewing weaves and all the other stuff that I could be into and fake nails and all that good stuff. Let's be honest. Just keeping it honest. So for all the women out there, remind your men constantly when you want something extra, that they should not complain because you are saving a whole lot of money being natural. So they have absolutely nothing to complain about. They should actually be happy. Don't tell them I said it. I'm just saying. If it, if it comes up in conversation, how about that? All right, still just twisting it up any kind of way. All we're doing is just giving ourselves a little hot oil treatment. That's all we're doing. We're not trying to be pretty right now, girls. We're just twisting it up as we always do whenever it's time to. We're not even trying to do all of that. We're just trying to get our head just treated with some good oils. And mine is not a hot oil treatment. Mine is just an oil treatment. So here we go. And in the event we are balling on the budget, ladies, and we cannot get all these oils, I just recommend doing the hot. I, mm -mm, I just recommend doing the coconut oil treatment, um, at least once every two weeks on the coconut oil, because it, because coconut oil is one of my staple products. So I don't know about your. I don't know what your staple product is, but I just say too much of any. Too much of. Uh, anything could, you know, be a bad thing. So, you just don't want to do too much coconut oil. And I have heard coconut oil, um, a lot of coconut oil affecting some people different ways. So, you just may want to just um, not always use just coconut oil. Um, but it is one of, the, one of my staple products. So, I have not noticed it do anything to me yet. Just... But I am just now back on this actual hair journey for seriously, like tough now. All right, so we we have six twists. Six twists. What am I gonna do? I'm going to put my trusty little bag. Okay, here we go. It's a 97 cent bags again. Put these on there. Keep it on here for 30, 45 minutes while I'm up. I usually do this overnight. Yes, I do. I'm just not going to do it overnight tonight because I'm actually going to wash my hair. If I feel like it. Now, my, mind you ladies, I do not work. I, I mean, I do not go into the office. I work from home. So, I don't think I need two bags because I'm not. Uh, I do not need two bags because I'm not um, 
going to sleep. So I'm going to let this soak in here and do all that's good. Do all, so you see it's already getting um, that white mist in it, meaning it's already going to start opening up my hair shafts to get in for that good um, oil treatment. All right. So after this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, rinse. You can rinse this out of your hair and then do your lock method or whatever style you were going to do. I'm actually going to wash mine out. I'm actually going to um, yeah, wash mine out uh, with this conditioner because, of course, I do not actually. I have not washed my hair since a long time. I do not wash my hair with actual shampoo. Um, and with this, what I'm going to actually do my conditioning treatment with it's not going to be my um nutritious delicious it's going to be another shea moisture product that i will actually as a matter of fact i will do another um vlog about that another shea moisture um conditioner if i like it i'm going to do it i'm going to actually do a review on it if i like it or don't like it just so y'all know um so that is what i'm going to use and i'm not going to put it on my hair at all it's just going on my scalp because that's the only thing that needs to be, it's a detox. So that's the only thing that needs to be detox is my scalp. I'm not stripping my hair of its nutrients that it's building or anything like that. All right. Thanks for watching. Brian Nisha TV. It's a wrap.